Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us today on The King of Random. Today we're going to be looking at how to build your very own laser light show that is perfectly synced with the music. This is a pretty easy project that you can do with some basic supplies in a single afternoon. All the supplies we'll need is a number 10 can, some normal balloons, either some small mirrors or a single mirror that you can cut into smaller pieces, some double-sided tape, and a laser pointer. Now we have all of our supplies, let's start building. First we need our number 10 can with the top and bottom removed, so we just have a metal cylinder. This particular can is full of rice, so I'm going to cut off the lid, pour off the rice into a container to save it for later, and then cut off the bottom. Ooh, March 21st, 1996. I don't know if that's when it was packaged or when it's theoretically expired. Probably packaged. I don't think it expires really. It's rice. With the top and bottom cut off of our can, we want to take a balloon and stretch it over the mouth of the can. The first step is we're going to blow the balloon up almost as much as it will go. Now it's stretched out and we'll have an easier time fitting over the can. We want to cut it about one half of the total balloon length down, not at the very widest part, but just above that. Stretching the balloon over the mouth is going to be a lot easier if you have another pair of hands to help. Once it's stretched into place, use a little bit of electrical tape around the edge to keep it from coming off. Now, if your goal is just to make yourself a miniature drum, congratulations, you're done. However, we're trying to make a laser light show, so we're not quite there yet. The next step is we need to attach about a one inch square piece of mirror to our latex balloon. Most types of mirrors are made from glass and it's hard to cut them, but this type is made from plastic because it's designed to be used in the shower. I guess it's protection in case it drops. Since it's plastic, we're gonna see if we can cut through it and just make a piece about that size. You know what, the fact that it's cracking like that gives me an idea. I'm gonna try and score it with a knife and see if I can break it along that line instead of using a saw, although that was working. All right, here goes. Huh. Well, it broke, just not where I thought it was going to. There we go. I'm gonna try throwing this in the vise and see if that'll help give me a cleaner edge to break along. All right, there we have it. I'm just gonna use some sandpaper to clean up the edges. There we have it, our one inch square piece of mirror. Now we're just going to attach that to the center of the balloon using some double-sided tape. Side and make sure it's pressed nicely down on there. Now we know it's gonna stick, no problem. Now with the mirror attached, we have the basis for what we're going to use to make our laser light show work. We're going to set this can up in front of a speaker and when the air waves coming out of the speaker hit the rubber, it's going to make it vibrate. The laser pointer will be shining right on the mirror and reflecting onto the wall. As the latex vibrates with the music, the pattern on the wall will move in some sort of spirograph patterns that match the vibrations of the sound we're listening to. First, let's take a little bit of electrical tape and wrap it tightly around the button so the laser pointer stays on. There are lots of options of how to keep your laser pointed nicely at your mirror, but since I had some rice, I poured some into a plate and I'll use that to hold my laser still as it points at the mirror. We know our setup works, let's try it with some music. <laughs> that looks great. Laser light show is working pretty well, but we want to take it to the next level, so what we have here is a fog machine, and then we're going to turn off some of the lights as well. Let's see how this works. That's pretty cool. Quick 
quick update, we've had a few upgrades. We've added another can in front of another speaker, and instead of the one little laser that we had before, we have this brighter green laser, we have this purple laser, and we also have this extremely powerful bluish green laser. So we're gonna get all three of those pointed at mirrors, reflecting onto the walls, and then crank up the music. Well, I've melted a couple small holes into my balloon with my mega powerful laser, so let's get the music started before anything else goes wrong. There you go, now you know how to take a number 10 can, a balloon, and a mirror to make your very own laser light show. You can get laser pointers online for surprisingly cheap. We've got a couple links down in the description for where you can get some. Thanks for joining us for this project today and we look forward to the next one. Talk to you then. It smells kind of fun. Man, so that powerful blue laser, I just, I would miss the mirror just a little bit while I was setting it up and it just kind of melted holes in the balloon immediately. I've got I think, four little holes going on. I think that also messed with the sound vibration because some of the air was able to get out, so it stopped moving the mirror quite as much. You right there, the one who just watched this video to the end, you are the reason that we work so hard to make these videos. It's for people like you. Thank you very kindly for being as supportive as you are. You keep watching the videos, and we'll keep making more.